Hello friends, Vibhor here. Welcome back to another video. Now let's talk about iPhone. Today morning, Apple unveiled its latest lineup of iPhone 12. I am super, super excited about it. Not one, not two, not three. They unveiled four iPhones as it was expected. So we are looking at iPhone 12, iPhone 12 mini, iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. I feel like a kid who has been thrown in a confectionery shop and been asked to just pick one. I want to get all of them. But let's see uh, what Apple has under the iPhone hoods. Let's open them up and see what Apple has brought for us this time. So Tim Cook started the event by telling us that all the iPhone lineups this time is going to have the 5G built in. Apple also says that iPhone lineup has the maximum 5G bands than any other smartphone in the world out right now. And the download speeds that we can expect is 4 Gbps and a 200 megabits per second of an upload speed. That's an amazing, amazing fast speed. But once all the carriers around the world bring up their 5G models, we'll actually come to know how much speed we get on our devices. But it's definitely a very, very welcome thing to have 5G straight on iPhone this time. We were expecting it, but we're not 100% sure that they will get it. Also, iPhone has the Super Retina HDR display this time and it has got a 3.4 million pixels in the iPhone Pro model this time. So uh, it's pretty much a very, very bright display. It's well, it just feels like they have taken my iPad, removed the bezels from the side and and shrunken them into uh, a small display of an iPhone. It would be really, really awesome to have that display in hand. I love the display on the uh, on the iPad Pro. If it's the same display, which it looks like it's going to be the same display, it's going to be super amazing and crisp on the iPhone. They also say that this is twice the resolution of the iPhone 11 pixels right now. So it's definitely a very, very leap forward with regards to the display. Also, this time on the display, they have got the ceramic shield. Every time Apple brings a new iPhone device, they always say that there's something better in the display with regards to the durability. This time they have said that they have put on this ceramic coating on top of the display and this makes it four times less prone to scratches and damage. So pretty much if you drop your iPhone right now, uh, it's four times less likely the chance that the display is going to break. I generally do not break any of my device. I never drop any of, of my device. So it generally does not matter a lot to me, but definitely a good thing to have. And as anticipated, because even the iPad Air this time has got the A14 Bionic chipset. It's the same chipset, which is powering the iPhone 12 and iPhone 12 Pro this time. So the processor in itself is a leap, leap forward uh, in regards of technology and the silicon that we have in the smartphones around the world. This is the first chipset right now in the world, which has got the technology of five nanometer. So based on that, Apple claims that this is 50% faster CPU and GPU than any other smartphone in the world right now. This can fit in 11.8 billion transistors and is a first five nanometer chip in the industry. Now, if you talk about cameras, the iPhone 12 has got a dual lens on the rear, uh, the 12 megapixel, both the lenses are 12 megapixel, but this time the sensors have been made much, much better and it gives a 27% better low light performance. We will also have the night mode and the time lapse for the night mode photography in the iPhone this time. So, uh, so definitely pictures in the night are going to be really much more brighter. The aperture of the cameras have been increased to 1.6, which means more lights can actually come and hit the sensor in itself. So when we are talking about the cameras, the iPhone 12 Pro in itself is even much better with regards to the camera. We anyways know that they uh, would have this three camera array anyways, but the night mode on the iPhone 12 Pro is much, much better. Comes with an optical image stabilization, which does 5000 adjustments per second. So that shaky hands and everything. I mean, all, all the pictures and all the videos are going to come absolutely still and like proper. There's, there's going to be no shake or blur in the pictures. The optical image stabilization as for Apple is really amazing on the iPhone Pro models. Now, because iPhone Pro also has the LiDAR scanner, this time they are using the LiDAR scanner to autofocus while uh, doing the photography and the videos. So even at night time when there's minimal light and app and the phone takes much more time to do the focus on the subject 
the lidar scanner at night time would be really handy for doing that focus and it's gonna focus on the subjects six times faster than without lidar scanner also they have improved the sensor on the cameras of iphone pro so it is going to capture 87 percent better low light performance and it will be having 5x optical zoom range also this time we are going to see the portrait nighttime photography for uh, for all the iphone models which is going to be amazing uh, i was waiting for this feature since a long time and i was expecting that apple is going to bring it really soon i was expecting this to be in the previous model of iphone but anyways uh, as they say like it's better late than never so yes they have got the uh, nighttime portrait photographs and because the sensor this time is so brilliant the nighttime photography is going to come amazing from the new iphone sensors now the iphone 12 pro has got something under the hood which is really exciting for the uh, professionals and photographers out there uh, it comes with a new improved hdr3 technology and also has a pro raw format so what that means is the raw photographs that we capture uh, from our cameras the dslrs and the mirrorless cameras now we can capture the similar raw photographs from our iphone itself also on top of it this is the first phone in the industry and the first camera and processor which is capable of recording the hdr 10 bit dolby vision video recording so what that means is like the 10 bit video recording we can do directly on the iphone camera and thanks to the a14 bionic chipset which is so fast that you can actually not only take the video on your device you can actually edit the entire video and post from your device itself so this is in itself a truly truly amazing game changer you actually can record your proper dslr mirrorless sort of uh, recording right right on your uh, iphone cameras and then edit them straight over there and do whatever post processing you want to do you don't have to shift your devices or anything for really quick workflow this is going to be a very welcome change for the professionals out there in the photograph industry now iphone 12 pro and pro max comes in the stainless steel frame uh, we have got four options over here for color the graphite silver gold and pacific blue and with regards to the storage it the base model comes at 120 gb it goes all the way to 256 and then 512 gb for both the versions and on the other hand the iphone 12 comes in the more vibrant colors of black white red green and blue and it has got uh, 64 gb 128 gb and 256 gb variants available to purchase and on the other hand the third version which is iphone 12 mini which has got pretty much all the features that iphone 12 has it just comes in a smaller variation of 5.4 inches so all the people out there who really love the smaller form factor of the phone and uh, wanted all the features that iphone 12 has they can actually go for the 5.4 inches version of absolutely the gorgeous everything inbuilt iphone 12 version called the iphone 12 mini that's gonna come in the same super retina xdr display it is going to have the same camera everything same the processor is going to same be the same as iphone 12 only the difference is going to be the screen size is going to be 5.4 inches irrespective of the phone you choose the another superb update from apple this time was the magsafe introduction on the iphone so pretty much all the iphones are going to have the magnetic uh, charging capability which anyways all the other iphones previous to this also had but this time they're going to have the magnetic array in the end to which all the accessories the magsafe adapter and anything can just attach itself so there are a lot of accessories coming up right from apple itself uh, which is going to support the magsafe uh, introduction in the apple uh, iphone series also third party producers like belkin and many many more are producing a lot of accessories for the magsafe capabilities on iphone uh, we are anyways having an eye out uh, to see what all is coming in the MagSafe world this time. Really excited to see the MagSafe coming up to iPhone. Used to love it on my uh, MacBook Air, but then they took it away from the MacBook Pro and yeah, I mean, on iPhone is gonna be amazing, amazing. So let's see when it comes out. Now iPhone 12 starts pre-order on 16th of October iPhone 12 mini pre-order starts on the 7th of November. With regards to the pricing, iPhone 12 mini is going to start at $1199 Aussie dollars and iPhone 12 in itself is going to start at $1349 Aussie dollars for a 64 GB variant. 
with regards to iphone 12 pro the pre-order starts on the 16th of october and iphone 12 pro max you can pre-order on the 7th of november the price starts at 16.99 for iphone 12 pro and 18.49 for the iPhone 12 Pro Max models. So that's all from the iPhone update this time guys. The event was telecast this morning and I have been awake since uh, last night uh, because in Australia it was like 4 a.m. in the morning when the event was supposed to be telecast. So yeah, that's, that's all the updates that I have for the iPhone. If you found anything worthy in this video guys, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, Google really loves the likings on a video. Uh, the algorithm loves it and a subscription would be super super awesome i will see you again in my next video guys